Testies, testies for audio, testies. Testies, testies. Testies! Hey guys, Mikey Swartz here, back with another episode of Tacoma Apocalypse. This is the Tacundra Swap. Today, we're gonna take a look at the original Tacoma V6 engine and compare it to the Tundra's 5.7 V8. First thing we notice, the V shapes are much different. The V shape on the Tacoma is 60 degrees. Come over here to the Tundra. This big mother, beep, has a 90 degree V shape, which makes it a much bigger looking engine overall, much wider. And how much wider? Let's find out. Got the tape measure right here. Uh, if we go from like outside valve cover, just to get an overall size, we're at about 30 inches, maybe a little over. And on this little baby, we're only at like 22 inches. That's probably the biggest difference between the two right there, the width of the engine. So right off the bat, you're thinking, ooh, that's gonna be bad to fit it in there. That's what I was thinking too. We're gonna measure the engine base too. But first, let's take a look at some of the other differences that we got between the two engines. Let's measure the difference in length between the two now. Overall length, we'll start with the Tacoma engine. From the fan, rough measurement here, all the way back to the tail, uh, about 69 to 70 inches. Uh, and then we go to the Tundra engine from the front of the fan all the way back to the flange. Uh, we're, we're like uh, 74, 75 inches. What we should really measure though is from the mounting location of the motor mounts back to that flange. Let's see what the difference is there. Rough measurements, of course, but uh, we're at like 49 inches on the Tacoma. And the Tundra is about 55 inches. So about a six inch difference in length if this bolts down right where that bolted down, which I'm assuming that's how it's gonna end up happening. Of course, we can always change that if we have to, but we're trying to make it as simple as possible. So that's what we're gonna try to do, bolt this down in the exact same location that that was bolted into. Next thing I wanna show you is the tail flanges. This goes to the rear drive shaft. Here on the Tacoma engine, we have the regular old Toyota Tacoma pattern. Uh, it's about four inches across. If you go like center to center, actually if you go center to the outside, four inches. Uh, and on this one, much bigger. And this for comparison is a little over five inches. So this obviously isn't gonna bolt up to our original drive shaft. Uh, and of course the drive shaft would need shortened anyway if it did. Something I already did try also was to switch these two just to see if we could swap this over onto this and bolt it up. When we try to swap these, you can see the splines are clearly totally different. Definitely not gonna work, so that's out of the question. So we might need to do some magic with uh, mix and matching parts to make a drive shaft work or maybe have one built. But that's all right, that's a minor setback. For the front drive shaft, the news is much better. We have the typical Toyota Tacoma flange pattern here again on the front. Now over here on the Tundra swap, we have the same exact mounting pattern for the front drive shaft. That is very good news for us. And if we measure the distance uh, from here forward, we're gonna find out that we're gonna need a slightly longer drive shaft. I'm working from the mounts because I'm assuming this is gonna bolt down the same mounting location. So from the mounts back, we got about 39 inches on the Tacoma, back on the Tundra, 45 inches. So about a six inch difference, just like overall length, that makes sense. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna just be able to lengthen the factory drive shaft as far as that goes for the front drive shaft. That's good news, that should be easy. I'm gonna measure from the engine mounts back to the transmission cross member mount and see what the difference is there. Mm. It's about 34 inches from the front mount to the trans mount. And oh, the Tundra is about 42 to 43 maybe. It's probably not gonna line up perfectly. So with a little modification though, we can always make that work. So I'm not sweating over that one too much. I am sweating like a bitch though. Whew. Just a few more differences that might be notable. Uh, one thing is that the Tacoma has the cats built in. The Tundra doesn't, so that's a big bonus for the swap, in my opinion. We don't have to worry about putting these cats back in it. Of course we can, but you know, we're gonna try to avoid that. Keep that under the radar. Uh, a 
Another thing I noticed is that the starters are on opposite sides. Tacoma has a starter on the driver's side. Tundra is on the passenger side. Shouldn't be a big deal there since we're swapping the harnesses and everything. Speaking of harnesses, let's take a look at these. Uh, this is basically the difference here. We got the Tacoma and the Tundra, and you see there's lots of plugs that we're gonna have to deal with. Uh, I don't even know which is which. Some of these, I think like these three probably go to the ECU and the rest of these go to the chassis. Um, here on the Tundra, this goes to the ECU, these go to the chassis. Uh, they plug in a different spot. So basically, probably a lot of this stuff, this is gonna be the, the biggest problem for us here. And, uh, and the other side of these harnesses, we actually also have some wires here. This is on the Tundra. These go into like the factory fuse box and a few different other spots, different things going on there. And some similar connections over here. These plug into the factory fuse box on the Tacoma. So there's definitely gonna be some differences here that we're gonna to have to address in the wiring. That's gonna be my nightmare. But we'll figure that out in another episode. Right now, we're just worried about mainly how this thing's gonna bolt in. Uh, so one other thing I wanna measure is where these mounts are gonna sit height-wise. So I'm gonna measure straight down to the floor. We have these both sitting pretty level here. So I should be able to get a good idea. Um, if I measure up to the mount, from the floor to the mount where it bolts on about 13 inches on the V8 and the V6, oh, almost 13 inches. You know what, I'm gonna measure the other sides too in case they're not sitting level because we can average these numbers out. So the other side was 13. Ooh, this side's 13 also, so that one is sitting level. The V6 didn't really want to sit level, so we kind of had to prop it up, so it might be a little off. It is off, this side's closer to 14. So I'd say they're exactly even then, they're both about 13 inches off the ground. That is a big thumbs up for us. So all that being said, I want to let you guys know I spent a lot of time this morning looking into these Lexus GX460 mounts. I had two different people tell me now that they thought those mounts would work. So I really took a lot of time today and looked up different part numbers for the Tacoma, the Tundra, and the GX460. And I took the time to look at the pictures and uh, how those things drop in there. And I've determined they are not gonna work. The GX460 mounts look a lot like the Tundra mounts. The way they bolt in, they bolt down in flat onto flat brackets that are completely horizontal. Where the Tacoma mounts are more of a, a V-shaped mounting position. So, so the mount goes down like this instead of like this. So I'm sure they're not gonna work now. I, I can see that by looking at the pictures. So we're gonna toss that idea out. Uh, but the good news is, after looking at this stuff, I still gotta take some more measurements, but the good news is that I think the Tacoma mounts might actually work. And uh, if they do, that's gonna make this really easy, unbelievably easy but we won't know until we take some more measurements. So let's go out and measure chassis now. I'm gonna pull these mounts off, the V8 and the V6. We're gonna bolt these into their original chassis and then take some measurements just so we can see uh, how wide the mounts are and everything. We wanna make sure this is gonna fit in the Tacoma too. So I'm gonna pull these mounts. We'll go out here in the parking lot, take some measurements. Well, before we head out here and look at the chassis, I'm gonna show you the difference in these mounts. These are Tacoma mounts. You see how that's welded on at an angle? That's because when these drop into the frame rail, they drop in kind of like this to bolt it into place. So here we have the Tundra mounts, and this is what I mean, these bolt in flat. So hopefully you can see the difference. And that's why I'm saying those GX460 mounts look more like these, they bolt in the same way. So they're really not gonna work in this truck. All right, guys, I'm here in the engine bay of this Tacoma now with the mounts. And these little guys are made to hang right in here, so I don't even have to bolt them in. They kind of sit right in place. Yeah, that's nice. The first thing we want to measure, though, is the distance between the shock towers, 28 inches. And the other thing that I'm really concerned about is the distance between these mounting points. So I'm going to measure at the top of these brackets uh, about 16 inches in width. So that's going to be big determining factors there as to uh, if this thing's gonna bolt right in easily or if we're gonna have to make some changes. The other thing I wanna measure is from this mounting point back to the transmission cross member mount. And uh, it's kinda hard to say, but roughly 34 inches. So 
Let's go check the Tundra. All right, we're out here with the Tundra now. Gonna take some measurements. I dropped the mounts in already. Of course, the Tacoma, we had a 16 inch width between these two mounting points. On the Tundra, we're at 17 and a half. So we got an inch and a half difference there. I was hoping that was gonna line up exactly, but it doesn't. Uh, but it's not too far off. Uh, next is the width between these shock towers. And we had 28 inches on the Tacoma. And we actually have just about the same exact number here. These are a little three dimensional. They're a little tighter at the back. It's actually closer than 28 at the back. So there shouldn't be any problems as far as width goes. That is a huge bonus because when we were pulling the engine out, we were all a little worried about that because of the V8 being so wide. But it looks like that's the exact same width. So no worries there. Then we want to measure from the front mounts back to the cross member. And on the Tacoma, we had 34 inches. Pretty rough measurement. Um, the Tundra is more like 43 inches. So that's like a nine inch difference. So that's definitely pretty far off. Uh, it's not to say it's not gonna fit. It's just saying it's gonna require a little more work than if it was exact. So nothing to worry too much about just yet, but I'm gonna have to scratch my head a little bit now and decide what to do about mounts. Uh, there's a few different options. Of course, the first thing I thought when I saw these mounts and I know how much different they are, is that we'd have to cut these off of the frame and weld these into the Tacoma. Or maybe we can make some mods and make those factory Tacoma mounts work. So we'll be looking at that, try to come up with an answer for next time. Since we're comparing these two engines today, I figured I'd also look up the weight. The V6 weighs 366 pounds. The V8 weighs 489 pounds. So we've got 123 pound difference. I couldn't find weights on the transmissions, but I do know the V8 trans is a lot more sophisticated. It's got an extra gear in it. You can lock it into its gears. It's a little bigger, a little heavier duty. So I'm gonna guess it's probably another 50 pounds, maybe even 100 pounds also. So more or less, we're gonna add 100, let's say 200 pounds to the truck. That's a pretty good guesstimate, I'd say. As far as power goes, factory numbers, the V6, 236 horsepower, the V8, 381 horsepower. So we got 145 horsepower we're gonna add. So it's well worth it for an extra 200 pounds, you know, obviously, or people wouldn't ever do V8 swaps. And as far as torque goes, we're gonna go from 266 to 401. So we're gonna add 135 pound-feet of torque also. And that is gonna be very noticeable in this truck. All right, so let's sum this episode up. We know we got about a six inch difference in length. That's what she said. And it looks like the basic difference in length is about six inches on everything. You know, it's give or take six inches, it's going to be off. The trans mount is going to be probably nine inches off though. But I'm thinking we could just move the whole cross member back and weld in a new mounting point for it. I think that's probably going to be the best thing. We'll figure it out when we get to that point. For now, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to Whip Bash. Make sure you share this with your pals and um, send nudes. And subscribe I'll see you next time. Thank you, Cameron, and I'll see you guys next time on Whip Bash.